guys, back in the garage shop. I know it's been a long time since we've been in here. It's crazy. It is crazy. I have finally got a little bit of time to come in here and organize some of this mess. I'll show you, it's a disaster. It's full. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is get Grandpa out of here. He's got a sticky brake. We rebuilt them calipers. And I should have replaced the pistons, not reused them, but I reused the pistons and a, I have one sticky brake. So I gotta order new pistons to fix him, but uh, he's just gonna go outside for right now and uh, just sit out there. I gotta get everything kind of semi-organized. I wanna get all the 570 parts in a pile. I wanna get all the engines, rear ends and stuff that are gonna go in kind of an area. So they're kind of already in an area. Uh, the overtop creeper is gonna be going to the new building, the drill press, the shop press, the blast cabinet. Uh, we're gonna organize some stuff on the bench cause it's kind of crazy right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this stuff organized so we can go ahead and get the tools. We can start getting the toolbox organized, get stuff out of the toolbox so we can get in the process of moving this toolbox. I'm not really looking forward to moving the toolbox like I've said many times, but it's something that's gotta be done. And once this is down at the building, we could start doing little projects here and there until the project at the building is done. Uh, we gotta get the air compressor down there. But yeah, this shop was a great shop for doing the cars, but where I've got all these trucks, these trucks take up tremendous space. And that's where the building shines is being able to work on these project trucks. So we'll be able to work on more trucks there, keep more trucks there and whatnot. We have Grandpa, we have the Suburban, we have, uh, we have the red LS swap truck, we have another square body that's coming into the picture, we now have a Tahoe, we have a bunch of trucks and stuff that we're gonna be doing. So I am just going to need the space. You put a truck in here, you can't even walk around it to work on it. So yeah, we've gotta go ahead and get everything moved. And it wasn't so bad when I didn't have the blast cabin, the shop press, drill press, air compressor, stove, powder coating. We didn't have that stuff in here, it was fine. We had plenty of room to work, but uh, when we got all that stuff in here, it just made it difficult to work. So I'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning some of this stuff up so we can get some of this stuff out of here. All right, guys, it's a little bit more of a mess than it was, but uh, I like to think it's a little bit more of an organized mess. Uh, we got some of this stuff here, this is all gonna go. I'm gonna borrow my brother's enclosed trailer and move a lot of the tools like the blast cap, the shop press, the stove, the welder, the creeper, uh, the parts washer, my little tool cart, drill press and stuff. We're gonna haul that to uh, the shop. Uh, but before I do that, I'm gonna probably use the engine crane and haul the six liter and the 4.8 and the 4080 and the couple of the axles that are over here to the uh, building. Axles will go in the semi-trailer, transmission, and two engines will go in the building. I'm gonna find a designated area for uh, LS motors. But yeah, so I'm just trying to get some of the stuff organized to where it's gonna go because the hardest thing is getting this and the bench out of here. Uh, when I go to do it, I'll probably bring in a folding table or a couple of them, pull tools out, and put everything on the top of the tables, pull this out empty, load it, haul it down there empty, get it in the building, and then I'll bring uh, loads of tools at a time. Just put it on the back of my Suburban and haul them. This is all 570 stuff uh, with a, my kid's pool and stuff there. Yeah, this is pretty much all 570 stuff, minus the Tahoe seat and the box of brake parts for the uh, Silverado. But yeah, this is pretty much all 570 stuff. So it'll go, I'll probably box a lot of it up and it'll go to the new building as well and uh, get everything kind of stowed away and kind of organized, figure out where we're at on that project. Make a list of stuff that needs done. Uh, got a bunch of Trans Am parts. They're gonna go too. Uh, the nice rear end for the Trans Am is going as well. Uh, we're gonna try to figure out a way to haul the Trans Am over there. So we'll see how that goes. But uh, I'm gonna try to get that over there, make a list on all the stuff on it that needs done. And uh, we're gonna try to crack down on that car. I'd like to have that car at least mobile by the end of this year. I mean, I probably won't do much driving in it, obviously, because it won't be till winter when I get it done, but, or if I don't get started on it till winter, it'll be a nice winter project. Uh, so, you know, I'd like to be able to have most of my stuff inside I wanna work on. So I can just kind of circle, or not circle through, but just kind of go through each uh, project, say if I want to work on one for a couple weeks, work on another one for a couple weeks, 
I'll probably have uh, some customer stuff in there too. So I'm gonna try to keep one day just for my stuff and one day to just pull in quick jobs and customer stuff. So that's my plan anyways. But odds are I'll probably have both bays full of my crap. So, you know, you know how that goes. Anyways, guys, we'll catch you guys in the next one. I thought I'd give you this just this video to see what I'm doing. I'm finally back in the garage shop a little bit, just trying to get some of this stuff organized for the move. There is a lot of stuff in this small 24 by 24 garage, so it's going to be fun to move everything. So, all right, guys, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Hope you guys have a good rest of your week.